I've built a VR gun for haptic games. Stick around and I'll show you how I did it. I'm a big fan of VR first-person shooters. One way to increase immersion is to feel the recoil from the weapon when fired. Now there are haptic guns for sale but they're too pricey. So I built this gun that has a powerful blowback effect, connects via Wi-Fi and only cost me $70. The concept is simple. The player fires using the controller and the game event is triggered in the game. Now, a middleware listens to those game events and sends that signal to the ESP32 that then activates the EBB motor. For the parts list, I got the RK45 Spitfire and that's the electronic blowback motor. This is the ESP32 dev module. A 6 volt battery. Step up boost converter. Battery indicator. The toggle switch. A Quest 2 pistol grip. Uh, I discarded the top part, I only needed the handle. It's a high tech cable that I'll connect the EBB to the battery and a powerful magnet. This one includes the MOSFET the diodes and the resistors. Uh, you'll need this to connect it to the motor to enable it to fire. You can find all the instructions on how to build the gun and download the software through my GitHub page. I've included a link on how to disassemble the RK45 if it's the gun that you're going to be using. I also included a link on how to control a DC motor using an ESP32. This is the diagram that I followed to connect the EBB to the ESP32. I'm using a single power supply for both. And I've also used a step-up converter to increase the voltage from 6 volts to 9 volts for the, uh, for the motor. The MOSFET is the one that controls um, the trigger. Um, if you have any issues following the instructions, just do let me know. Let's assemble the gun. I 3D printed a strap for the Velcro, a battery holder, and a cover for the ESP32. I changed my design for attaching the grip to the gun. Uh, and now I'm using a magnet. And then I, I, I glued that uh, Velcro strap into the, to the grip. And I'm using some Velcro to just create a new uh, strap for, for the controller. So once you put in the controller, you could just loop that Velcro in to the halo. 
I found this old padding from a carrying bag and it really helps with the, with the comfort factor. So once you get it in, just tighten the Velcro and you're good to go. I added the washer to the EBB and that's that's the that's that's the metal that connects to the magnet. Let's jump into the firmware. In order to communicate with your ESP32 via COM port, you need to install the Scilabs CP210X USB 2RT chip driver. So go to their website and download the Windows driver. And then on your Arduino IDE, go to your preference and uh, copy this text um, in there. And then you go to Tools, Boards, Boards Manager, and search for ESP32. And install the latest version. Then you could go to Boards again and you'll see ESP32 Arduino and check select ESP32 dev module. If you go to ports, uh, you could check on your device manager and, and look at the COM port available in there. There are a couple of things you could customize in the uh, firmware. If you open up ESP32 HLA Wi-Fi.ino and look at the uh, server port you could uh, change this to a different server port. Just make sure when you do that, um, that you also update the COM port um, in the companion app. In the function echo receive data, uh, you could change the delay time to uh, something that will match your EBB motor. Mine works at 75 milliseconds. Uh, once that's done, you could go ahead and upload the file to your ESP32 board. If you get an error, you might need to press the boot button uh, while uploading. Next, uh, you could turn on the gun and then um, open up your smartphone, iOS or Android, and go to your Wi-Fi settings uh, and connect to the access point called Haptic Gun Connect. Um, and then you will see the, uh, the Wi-Fi manager and you can click on configure Wi-Fi. Um, once uh, you get into the uh, configure Wi-Fi screen, uh, you could select your SSID or type it in and then and type in your password. If your uh, connection was successful, the blue LED on the ESP32 should light up. Now, if you double click the reset button on the ESP32, which is the button on the left side, um, this will reset the Wi-Fi settings and you will be able to reconnect to the half to 10 connect access point and set up a new Wi-Fi if you want to. Let's look at the code. I, I forked a B haptics half-life Alex implementation and you can find all the extra details and settings um, in their GitHub repo. Um, next, all you need to do is go to the publish folder and download and extract the taxset plus gun Alex uh, zip file. Just unzip it anywhere in your computer, open it up, and run taxset alex.exe. And once it's open, the first thing you need to do is browse for your game folder. So it could be in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Half-Life Alex. Select that folder. And the next thing is like you want to enter the IP address of your gun and the port number. Once you're done, let's click start. And 
If you connect it properly and click test, you should see the gun vibrate and the CD active devices will include the haptic gun. Next, you could just launch Steam VR and start the game. And here's the final build. I added some paint for looks. So turn it on. And once it connects to Wi Fi, the blue LED should light up. And that's the, uh, the battery indicator. I thought, I thought it looks good having that in there. And you can still access all the, uh, the Quest controllers in the back. This is the high-tech connector that I was talking about. So I could just disconnect that easily and charge the battery as needed. Time for testing. And here it is in action. I'm also wearing my B Haptics Taxit X40 haptic vest uh, and also the Tactosi for arms. The haptic feedback from the uh, electric blowback motor is, is pretty good, it's very strong. And it actually negatively affects my aiming or I'm just a terrible shot. The gun has a good amount of weight, um, but it's not nose heavy and it feels balanced. This is just version one, and I'd like to add a couple more things, like add game launcher GUI and uh, building a holster and add detection when the gun is holstered, and support more games like Arizona Sunshine and Pistol Whip. A big thanks to Lucid VR Discord channel, especially to Lil Nyan Cat and DKYA for their advice.